tuning for piano tuning. Wires break. It's nothing you can do about it many times. Um, what we're going to look at is how to tie a square knot in a piano string. I'd recommend that you practice in something else first. This is a thick gauge of copper wire just to show you the finished product, what we're looking for in a way to splice a wire. One thing that's easy to practice with is an 18 gauge soft iron wire. You can see that this is real easy to bend. Also the end's not as sharp as a piano wire would be. And I'd like for you to think of the supply wire, the wire that's still in the piano, whether it's coming towards you in a grand piano or coming up from an upright to the top. This is your supply wire. And then you'll have a little piece that you're going to tie to the other one. And a very simple way of remembering how to do it is thinking of twisting one wire away and the supply wire towards you. You can use round nose pliers, plain needle nose wires, or many people like vice grips. Um, the supply wire Normally you'd like a very small loop in it uh, because we're going to place the loop of the new wire over it. So if we take the round ones, let's see if you can see this now, and again I'm, I'm bending away from me just to make a little loop with the tail end to the right as I, as I look at it. Now this other one we're going to take and make a loop towards me, a little bit bigger, but again the loop should go to the right hand side. So I'm bringing it towards me, making a nice loop. This one's bigger and the tail is around. Now what we're hoping for is that the loop will fit over the piece that you cut. As you look at this, what you'd like is that when you place the pressure down on the wire, the loop will be constrained, the tail end will be constrained, or the other piece will come over the tail piece. And that's how you know that you have it on right. If you put it on the other way, um, it would be something like this, that the, the loop would not be constrained here. I'll have to take it off all the way. that this way you see if I press down the pressure is going to actually open the loop instead of tighten the loop. So we'll get it back on the right way. Check it so that we know that our loop is coming down. And then the same thing for the other wire. You want to make sure that you're coming over and under. Now some people will bend this a little bit to give yourself some clearance as you start pulling the wire. And as you pull them together, let's see where we are here. We've got a bigger and a smaller loop. You can take your pliers to kind of start this process or just leave it. Um, we're going to go off camera here to, I think, try and pull, put some pressure on it. and the knot begins to tighten up. Once you've got the knot to this point, you'll want to trim it. Not too short, because as you pull it up to pitch, it's really going to tighten up there. And then you're left with the, the end that you'll want to get on your tuning pin. Um, I know it's tempting to just wind the pin out three turns and then push this in and wind it back in. That's a lot of wear and tear on your pin block. Uh, you can get a dummy pin just like this and do the winding outside of the piano. <clears throat> or another idea is to actually cut off a pin to make it short so that as you wind it right into the pin block area, you can get a little bit better angle. 
Another idea is to cut a slot in a cutoff pin. That way as you wind it on, you can either use a regular tuning lever, short tuning lever, or one of the stringing levers. But if you put the pin, the pin in, just have a little bit, let's see if I can get an angle here, almost flush. You want it so that as you turn, the wire ends up flush even with the pin. Wind a couple turns. And then this allows you to, to slide it out and you've got your wire bend in there. You'll have to open this up so that as you place it over the pin you can then reform the becket into the wire to go ahead and tighten it down. So again to review you take your supply wire, let's see if I'm in picture here. Take your pliers, whichever ones you're going to do, grab it, bend it away from you, leaving a small loop. Take your new wire, you want a bigger loop this time. This is what's going to go into the into that end. So we're going to bend it towards us. Leaving a bigger loop. That can then fit over the wire loop. Checking to make sure that your wire is constrained. The tail end will be pinned down. Again, if you're working with stiffer wire, which piano string is, you may want to bend this up a little bit. Let's see, can you see the... So that it's easier to place the end of the new wire through the existing wire, allowing you to pull, pull it up, To the place that when you put some pressure on the string, it tightens up. Trimming the ends leaves you ready to go. And again, here is that. Let's see if I can get it in the picture. Our finished product using a thick piece of wire is what we're looking for, a nice square knot to be used. The hole out